Four-year-old Queen lives with her aunt and relatives in the Ileni informal settlement in Kietman Swab. At first sight, she is an active toddler, posing for the NBC camera and entertaining her family. Andimba says that prior to her first surgery, Queen used to excrete through her private parts because of the absence of an anus, but thanks to that operation two years back, that has stopped. Queen's aunt says the girl is still in extreme discomfort, and especially during the evenings, she becomes restless because of the pain in her stomach. My call is to everybody, not only the business sector, but also anyone who can assist us. It will be appreciated, especially the government, to assist just to give the child a normal life. Andimba says currently it appears that the skin around the hole, where the tube is inserted, is growing thin, and every time she puts a clean sachet, she bleeds and complains of lots of pain. The aunt who is a domestic worker says what worsens the situation is that Queen can only consume soft food, which she can always not afford. Despite her medical condition, Queen is not a shy child who loves interacting with other children and is generally very energetic and friendly by nature. Despite her yearning to attend school, I am reluctant to enroll her because of her condition as she needs extra care, while I also fear some kids may hurt her deliberately. I want them to remove this sachet from me. Next week, Andimba and Queen will visit a specialist in Venduk for the second time this year, hoping a lasting solution will be found for Queen to live a normal life.